everyone. I'm back here with another game. Sorry about <laughs> yeah, my uh, fell on my left arm while I was at the Chingatini. It's still freaking hurting. I got back um, Friday and it's Tuesday and it's still hurting. I can't like lift my left arm up or anything. It, it just freaking hurts. Ugh. But anyways. I had a cu just two questions if you guys could answer them. Um, first question is on the PC. Can how can you do the dual monitor system? Because I would like to do that, play PC games, since I have my Acer Predator. But I'm not sure how to do it. <laughs> what I'm thinking is just run a DVI cable into my monitor and an HDMI cable into uh, the, my splitter I've been using. But not sure. It might work. Maybe. <laughs> And the other question, I just, I totally forgot. <laughs> so, all right, let's just get going here. I'm hoping I have enough, oh, enough money for UFC. And see what happens here. What's oh, yeah, up? Yeah, you awake? Up? Need something? Listen, hey, I just wanted to get it out in the open. You've been balling lately. And it's probably only a matter of time before you're starting instead of me. I don't know about that, man. I'd rather start, start over out in brands. Rest of that stuff is up to coach. Glad to hear you're putting the team first. A lot of young players aren't willing and able to do that. And hey, no hard feelings on my side either way. You get my spot, it'll be man, because you earned that it. From you. But hey, let's just get these W's, all right? Oh, yeah, the other question was... Uh, do you guys notice a difference between 1080 and 720? See, I think it's a little more crisper in 1080, but I'm not sure. It just takes, the file sizes are just uh, really big and it takes a long time to upload them. And I just wanna know whether it's a big change or what. I mean, because I know the frames per second is, is a big difference because 720 is 30 and 1080 is about 60. It's like 59.97. Still close. A little better. Nighttime always fun here in Miami. As we see Do this thing. The city. We're live, the home of the Miami Heat. American Airlines Arena in downtown Miami, Florida. Our starting lineup to look at the matchups here and who we'll see for our starting five for both teams. And guys, what do you think we'll be seeing from Jeff? Oh my God, I did it again. <laughs> in this one. All right. Well, he's an acrobatic. Let me back in there. Haslam. All right, let's get on him. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. LeBron drives in and a foul. Get that out of here. <laughs> Paul Millsap picks one up. Well, LeBron is far enough along. Miss it, LeBron. No. God dang it. Some of his career stats, and they're staggering. I mean, he could end up the first player. Ever of course, LeBron. 10,000. How dare you? Rebounds. I mean, that's remarkable. Kyle Korver. He's checked in for Atlanta. Here's Money. He's guarded by Hasler. Right in. They are really doing a nice job establishing a presence inside early. That's going to open things up for them on the perimeter going forward, Clark. And when you talk about LeBron's ability to pile up stance, whether it's scoring, the rebound, or the passing, Clark, the he can do it all. He really can. He's dominant in every facet of the game. Uh, D-Wade, of course. He is a stat sheet stuffer supreme, <laughs> and that's the highest level of stat sheet stuffing you can have, and he's at the <laughs> pinnacle of the peak. That's it. Teague for three. Chris Bosh with the rebound. Uh. Rebounding is going to be the focal point for them in this one, fellas. I can feel it. Yeah, it's a physical game, and so far the numbers show that they've got the edge on the glass. Over to the wing. Phillips with the ball. Picked up by Teague. Phillips, no good. And that's a shot he had to take. Yes. For sure, it was a good decision. All right, let's go execution. do this thing. Williams kicks to Horford. 
Here is Corver. Wade is covering. Corver passes to Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. With the floater. Wow, good stuff. Williams against Phillips. LeBron outside. And that uh, takes the ball. God dang it, LeBron. Seems to really get on a roll. Atlanta's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Here's money. Oh, so almost. Foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Way to play in attack mode and get inside. Oh. oh defense and you're going to foul make sure it's a good one they did preventing the and one there you go. Division, pretty top heavy last year but the Hawks while not having a real chance to win the title managed to finish second to the heat in the division and the Hawks with a completely new group on the floor here's Cole 11 point game his last outing the dish to Anderson Clock is at three. Here's Chalmers. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. All right, let's score some more points. Come out. Now here's Beat the hate. The drive by Scott. No good trying to beat the buzzer. Well, it's been All right, beating them by a point. <clears throat> Come on, let's do this. Come on, little hate. Freaking mess with the birds. I don't think so. Oh no! That was my fault. Well, from what you guys are seeing from the Hawks, what do you think about really? their performance? Okay. Okay. Let's get to it. Yeah, nice stuffage of Miami. On the court right now for the Hawks. Jeff Teague and Lou Williams, the back. Kyle Korver is out there with money, and it's Horford in at the pivot, panning the middle. Phillips dishes to LeBron. Uh -oh. Wade against Williams. Shoots a fader. That's good. Ah, of course. D Wade, how dare you make a nice fader? He's making it look easy scoring out there because he's much more efficient here in the second. And Doris Burke has a report for us from the sideline. Money in the last outing against the Jazz really. Uh, give me that ball. Oh, oh, yes, yes, uh -huh. yeah, buddy. Just the game he needed to snap the cold spell he was in. That has to be a major relief for his team, guys. Uh -oh. Thanks, Doris, for revisiting oh, Chris Bosch. An astounding performance, Clark. It clearly was one of those games that when we look back on his career. This game will be right there among the best ever that he's yeah. played. Yes. Well, he was in the zone from the outset. It was just one of those games where he was feeling it. Everything was, was going his way. Oh, uh, yeah! He attacked, and that's what I like. Once he knew it was his night, he just attacked relentlessly. An indication there of why the scoreboard looks like it does. Very uh -oh. passive defense. But the finish was anything but passive. No, he, he hammered that down, Clark. Superb above the rim. Oh! And then Wade slams it in. Put me on freaking D Wade. Lee Brown. After that, at least I think that would be the case. Well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are. Look at them. They are pumped up. That's what those alley. Yes. Ah, oh, he had a good shot. No. Matt. And they get it back. Six on the shot clock. Money passes to Corbin. Here's money. Ah, screw you, LeBron. You do not hit me like that. Tell you what, we haven't seen him be as aggressive driving the lane. Right in. Yes. But so far, it hasn't cost them on the scoreboard. And I think part of the reason it hasn't cost them is they went on the first quarter, and now they're picking them apart a little bit from the outside. I don't think they can get too comfortable out there, though, or the lead could start to dissipate. Tamari Carroll's checked in for Kyle Corp. LeBron outside. Bosch sets the pick for James. Uh. Design on the pick play, and he lays it in. James has got eight. Heads up, aggressive play right there. He saw the smaller man on him, took it straight to the basket. Teague for three. No good on that last second attempt there. Now we're winning still. That's good. Bucks ahead. Thank you, 
Kevin here with Dwayne Wade. And, and now, no D Wade, you do not get to speak. Sprint. Monday, the Sprint Halftime Report. Presented right. by Sprint. Get to it. No, we better not lose the lead, and we did. No. The Heat with the lead. Ray Allen and LeBron fill out the wings. Holding out there with Chris Anderson. And it's Chalmers. Ah. The group on the floor. Come on, boss. Gotta get on Lee Brown. Focus defensively than we did in the first half. Pass to money. Foul call that time. What's fouling me? How dare you, Greg Oden? And back to Coach Hurts. There's a guy who got his start as a video coordinator. Picking the game apart, Steve, he's very comfortable with the new advanced stat move and win it. So he is. I've had a chance to speak with him quite a bit. He says that the way they use advanced stats is just a, as a conversation piece in the coaching room. Uh, their, their analytics department will bring them various information, and it will force them to ask questions, which is very... Oh, yes. Oh, no. That's our ball. Look at the top single season player efficiency ratings. I love this statistic. Wilt Chamberlain, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and we've got some more modern talent representing as well. Yes. The elites of the game when you go down that list. Interesting to see a, a new school stat kind of juxtaposed yeah. with old school legends. But you know, the, the rankings obviously make sense if those guys are at the top. Now, here's Chalmers. He's guarded by... Yeah! It's going to be over and back. No. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. How you like it? Go backwards. That's what you deserve. Here's Schroeder, defended by Chalmers. Schroeder passes to Money. For the lead. Ah. No. Dang you, Anderson. I'm on Lee Brown. In the third quarter. And there's the call on Lewis Williams. Oh, no. And the bonus will go to the free throw line. Oh. Well, you know, you look at LeBron James, maybe more than any other player in NBA history, he's great in a way that transcends position. Ah. Size, skill, savvy, know-how. I mean, he's got it all. Catching up on the changes with Miami. Chris Bosh is checked in for Anderson. And it's Norris Cole in for Udonis Haslam. Passes it to Schroeder. They set the pick. Outside Williams. Just five to shoot. And it's blocked by Bosch. Ah. 129 left in the third. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Gets to Bosch. Oh, man. That is really good at shooting. <laughs> When you talk about LeBron's ability to really play any position on the floor, when you when you look back, has Steve there ever been a player you could say that about? I'm not sure if you could say that about uh, both ends of the floor. I mean, there's a lot of great defensive players who could guard everybody, Scottie Pippen or Dennis Rodman. Offensively, Magic Johnson could play any position he wanted, but to be able to do so at both ends is what separates LeBron James. To the middle. Here's Allen. Uh. Allen's got the lead up to four now for the Heat. Looks to me like they hit the refresh button here in the second half after shooting less than 40% from the field before the break. Yeah, well, they managed to hold down the floor. Come on, make it. Yes. Finally starting to kick into groove. Right now, the defense needs to do a better job of closing out on this guy. He's heating up from outside. Chalmers dishes the box. 27 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Cole. Oh, man. And the Heat lead by three. I don't know what's happening to their defense. I mean, they, they don't have any effort, any purpose. And it's really costing them. I mean, the last five baskets at that end have been on very easy looks. Brand, a screen on James and Williams. Here we go. He yes. They're off the pick and took it right in. Rand's got five points so far. Looks like he may have been showboating a little bit at the end of that one. Here's James. Got it all in time, but it's no good. That concludes the third quarter.
we've reached the end of the third quarter. Just a terrific game so far. All right. Now let's take a look at today's State Farm assist. Now you of the think game. you're a star prove it to me and score 10 play, straight points. All right. This is what you expect. The gorgeous feed there. On the court for Atlanta, Jeff Teague and Lou Williams, the back. Money out there with Horford. And it's Millsap in at the three, the small forward. Boink. The shot is good for money. The Atlanta Hawks coming to this one after the win against the Utah Jams. The drive by James Bach. Yeah. Picking up the assist. And that's now 10 points for Chris Bosch. Despite the troubles he had in the first half, he stayed composed and focused, and now he's getting it going. Here's money. And two free throws uh, coming up as he misses right. that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. He has great dexterity inside. He can contort his body. Yes. Shift in midair, hang time. He can protect the ball and finish through contact. Just an impressive. There we go. And Steve, that's not a skill that most players have. I mean, that's exactly why they try to feed it to him in the paint whenever possible. Boy, I tell you what, he does not look like your typical big man up there at the line. He has an excellent stroke and a percentage to match. The shot by Wade, no good. Atlanta's gotten two thirds of their three pointers to fall tonight. They're six of nine overall. Williams passes to Money. Hit his leg. Kick that ball. How dare ball. you? We've played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Horford with it. Just five on the clock. Outside Millsap. On deep. They get the rebound. Nice again. No good. I missed. Dang it. So the heat, their last Trying to get this ten game. straight points. So we get uh -huh. Millsap's, Millsaps out. <laughs> Two shots coming up. Millsap. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Jamari Carroll's checked in for the Hawks. Battier playing the small ball four, a stretch. Oh, I pressed A by accident. X. Step into that role when the matchup is right there. Down low, here's money, and that comes off the assist by Jeff T. Teague's got four assists in the game. I'll tell you what, he's been zeroed in on the hoop all quarter long, making big shots. James in the post, defended by Carroll. And ah. Lieber on again. And going back to Battier at the four, he can play inside. He's got that, you know, Steve, that little hook shot in the paint. But the big thing is the reason you play him at the four is to stretch out the defense. Battier can shoot the three from anywhere on the Ah, I bounced so the wrong way. Now all of a sudden, the lane is wide open uh, for his teammates, and it becomes much more difficult uh, to cover the entire floor for the defense. Vicious to James. Teague against Wade. And it's good. Jesus. D Wade and freaking LeBron. God, they make everything. Really aggressive. Give me that ball. Let me get my thing. Tell you what, I love that fearless attitude. Here's money. Oh, I did it again. I shot behind the backboard. Can't freaking tell. I'm behind Cavaliers. the backboard. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. The Hawks making a switch here. Land's checked in. The Heat leading by three. Bosch heads the pick for LeBron. Poked loose. Yes, I stole from LeBron. Yeah. Brand outside. Back to Teague. To the inside. Here's money. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Okay. It's on Chris Bosch. No slowing him down. Just incredible numbers for money. No! And with seven points coming from the free throw line, that's some good work. It really is. I mean, he's gonna have there you go. To show for it because he's been knocked around a little bit, but you got to love the aggressiveness. They'd have loved to cut it to one there. They're still in decent shape if they can get a stop. Phillips kicks to LeBron. Ah, uh, LeBron again. Whoever's covering him needs to cover him. 
putting up much of a fight on the interior. It's been embarrassing. That's 10 consecutive points. There we go. And that's One more the point. Kind of streak you want to have if you're playing defense. Well, he's found his game and his rhythm this quarter. He's gotten into a nice groove. The timeout called the Heat. Come on. The game, getting a break here, important for the teams to regroup and for the players. This is where you have a chance to get rehydrated with Gatorade. Get ready to play strong to finish off the game. Doris Burke has an update for uh. The ball. Here. Kevin, now's the time. Here's money. Yes. Just the right and I got it. All right. Now we have game. to keep Shane Battier from stay on him. All right. And Miami has possession. The lead is two. The drive by Wade. Stop him. Don't freaking hit him. You need to stop him. Can't score points on us. That was an easy whistle for the official. That makes it a three-point lead. Can you believe the job they're doing at the foul line since halftime? I mean, they've been perfect so far. All right. <laughs> Got my goal. He starts to get comfortable and relaxed, and everything goes in the hoop. 152 left in the fourth quarter. Williams dishes to Brandt. Outside Williams. Teague with the ball. Phillips picks him up. Oh, man. The drive by Wade. It's blocked. Hope they get it back. Here's Battier. No! Offense in the second half. Now up above 50% shooting for the game. And see, it's no surprise to see them in the lead. I mean, when you score efficiently like that, you keep a lot of pressure on the other team. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Eric Spolster was saying to his team. He wants his guys to... There we go. Nice shot. ...down on the inside and preventing any shots from close range. Better interior defense was his message. Guys, we'll see how Coach's direction pays off as this one winds down. Kevin? And thanks for that story, Doris. Inside the box. And he oh, the come on. And the Heat lead by six. How about the field goal percentage shooting this half, guys? It's gone through the roof. Atlanta's gone one and three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Kicks to Brandt. He dishes it to Horford. Come it. All right. Come on, we gotta do something. He's been so good today. He may have to take it apart. Stop him off. We need freaking a day to do something. The drive by James. Out to Wade. Left side, Billups. Feeds it to Bosch. Clean. Come on, come on, come on. Time to work with. They need a basket here. Yep, they've got to get a steal. Come on, give me the ball! Give me the ball! Oh, that is a massive shot. You know it is. He's stepping right into the spotlight. Come on, come on, come on. 19 seconds left in the game. Please don't tell me he failed the wrong person. He failed the wrong person. God dang it. Ah. Uh. So he goes to Dang it. And it's a four point ball game. Those are big free throws, guys, because now it becomes a two possession game. 17 seconds Better. left to play in the final quarter. I win. The one, no. left to play here in the fourth, and they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Foul the wrong person. He misses that time. Surprise. Two. So he comes up empty at the line. For three, Williams. Ah. Uh, yeah, again, if the shot selection there. So your path foul. Well, you gotta understand who's guarding you in that situation. I mean, if he's on you tight, you can't just rise up and try to shoot over the top. Wow. Oh, 
And so he drops them both. It's a six point ball game. And that ought to do it. I think any chance for a miracle comeback just went out the window with those free throws. And that's an intentional foul. Yeah. Really? He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven point lead. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. And so both free throws are good. And it's an eight point game. Way off. Can't wait to get off this stupid team. Clark with respectable performances on both ends of the floor. Yeah, I think it was just really a nice overall effort, Kevin. And Thank you, Kevin. LeBron tonight. Yeah. Kate, don't get any extra points because my team blows. Gotta get freaking off this team. Hey, I'm hearing a lot of good things about how you're getting along with everyone. Thanks, Coach. I'm just trying to fit in, you know? It's working. Too many young guys come in with the wrong attitude like they got something to prove. I overheard you on the plane the other day. That'll go a long way towards getting the rest of the team behind you. If they know you aren't just chasing your own numbers and you're committed to helping this team win, they'll be on your side no matter what. Man, I hope so. It'd be great to be a starter on this team, you know? I just wanted to come under the right terms. I, I don't want any drama. That's a good thing. You just keep doing your thing. I got a lot of confidence in your game and your potential as a teammate, especially lately. If you ever need anything, you just let me know. I'm here to help. Thanks, Coach. Really means a lot coming from you. For sure. I hit the showers. I got to get back to this game tape. <laughs> Well, it's been a few days, so where do things stand now? Still want to be traded? Because remember, if we go down this road, there's no turning back. Yes, I'm tired of being on this team. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely ready to get out of here. I can't All believe right. how Let's see conflicting this stuff is. But you need to know I'm not going to make a move just for the sake of making a move. I need to ensure it's in the best interest of this organization. I can't promise anything, but why don't you let me know what teams you're interested in? here oh yeah Denver uh, I'm trying to think who else is pretty decent I think the Wizards are Mavericks Jet, not Jazz I definitely want them on their team uh, it's the Pistons. I like the Pistons. Okay. If I can find something that makes sense, you'll get your wish. Just make it happen. Thanks. Get out of these freaking Atlanta Hawks clothes, too. Gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We have begun our descent into Cleveland. Enjoy your stay, and we'll see you again soon. All right, well, let me get this uploaded and see what happens later on. What team I get to.